When most people think of improv, they think of something like Whose Line Is It Anyway? or just a silly improv comedy show at the local theater. But there's so much more to it. I've personally been taking improv classes for a little over a year now, but I've been practicing off and on since college about seven years ago, and it's improved my life in so many ways. I'm personally of the opinion that every single streamer could benefit from taking improv classes. Here are five reasons why. My name is Chris Folia. I'll be your professor. Welcome to Stream School. Before we get started, here's the obligatory. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below the video if you enjoy the video, enjoy my content in general, or just want to stare at my wonderful face. Ah! And just a friendly reminder that I am live every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at twitch.tv slash oraclefishlive. If you want to come hang out, want to ask any questions, or just want to, like, pick a fight. Put them up. Stick them up. That being said, let's get to the list. One, improv helps you think on your feet. It trains your brain. Have you ever met someone that just has like a snappy comeback or a witty remark for literally anything and everything? Some people are fortunate enough to be born like that. They're just naturally gifted with an unbelievably quick wit. <laughs> Definitely not me. Fortunately, for the rest of us, this is a skill that can be learned. It just takes practice. And improv consistently puts you in situations where you have to make everything up completely on the spot. You're forced to mentally craft environments, relationships, and even identities at the spur of the moment, all while keeping up a believable, engaging conversation. It's really good practice for thinking on your feet, which is an unbelievably valuable skill for, like, let's say when a troll shows up in your chat, or just for keeping your show light and entertaining in general. Smart, witty remarks and observations are so much more entertaining than just boring, dull, silence. Two, it helps you roll with the punches. The number one rule of improv is yes and, which means you never want to deny someone else's reality. You're trained to take your scene partner's suggestion and continue building on it, all while adding your own suggestions. Yes and. This whole mentality of essentially not saying no makes for significantly more entertaining scenarios and conversations with your viewers, and a lot more entertaining scenarios with trolls. Too many people are too fast to get defensive when anything's brought into question, or they just take things too personally. And if you're used to rolling with the punches, or yes and ing, you'll come across as a much more likable, charismatic person, and you can usually turn it back around on the person that's trying to get a rise out of you. Three, it trains you to be a better conversationalist. How many times have you been a part of a conversation that's just one question after another? It just feels like a really boring interview. How's your day? My day is good. How's your day? I'm good. What are you up to? Oh, nothing much on this end. What are you up to? It just gets really boring really fast. However, improv actively discourages asking questions to help move the scene along or get to the point faster, which might not seem innately helpful to you as a Twitch streamer, but if you like playing games with other people, especially if you like doing things like random duos in Fortnite, for instance, being a great conversationalist will make your stream so much more entertaining. You'll also just be able to carry on better conversations with your viewers, too. Four, it helps with your character work. In improv scenes, you're constantly creating new, unique, fun characters to put into absolutely absurd scenarios. And these characters can have different quirks, personality traits, or even accents. And it can be really fun to bring these characters into your Twitch stream, whether it be for specific moments or channel points rewards or something, or for creating unique, cool voices for different characters in the game you're playing, or maybe even for an entirely new persona for your stream. The options and opportunities are endless, and improv class is a great place to develop, work with, and test out these characters. And finally, five, improv is really fun. I've shown up to improv class in a bad mood countless times, just ask my teacher, whether it be because of bad traffic or just a really crappy day. But I've never, not even once, left improv in a bad mood. It's honestly just so much fun. 
And that's the list. If I've managed to convince you even in the slightest, you should definitely look up improv classes in your area. Most places will even let you audit for free. And if you found this video in any way, shape, form, or fashion even remotely helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below the video. Also, just a friendly reminder that I am live every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at twitch.tv oraclefishlive. Until next time, my name is Chris Folia. Class is out.